Is it courtesy to close your eyes? Or? <laughs> Todd and Renette, we've traveled all around the world together. We've experienced so many incredible things in our travels, from swimming between tectonic plates, to racing through the streets of Tokyo, and everywhere we've gone, there's been food. Now we want to share more of our adventures. And maybe, just maybe, someone can save this crumbling marriage. Wait, what? Done. So we're heading to Lunacy, which is an alpaca and llama farm. We're going to a farm. Lunacy Alpaca Farm is located in the rolling hills of Claremont, Florida. But we're in Mineola. In Min Mineola? We're a family farm where everyone helps out, including our daughter Brooke and son Jared. To get in, it is a $10 donation um, per person, and that's for a tour. Do you have to book the tours? Uh, yeah, they suggest you book in advance since um, it is COVID time season. Super it's long. COVID season. Hey Siri, what do you know about alpacas? The alpaca is a species of South American camela descended from the vicuña. It is similar to and often confused with the llama. Want to hear more? Yeah. However, alpacas are often noticeably smaller than llamas. The two animals are closely related and can successfully crossbreed. Alpacas and llamas are related to the guanaco. There are two breeds of alpaca, the Suri alpaca and the Huake alpaca. You just have to keep using your blinker, don't you? After a short drive, you'll discover this small little farm in a cozy valley at the base of Sugarloaf Mountain. Clearly the people who live here love alpacas, and before we left, we kind of did too. The owner and tour operator goes by the name of King. It's clear from the moment you meet him that he really loves every animal that he has on this farm. After a brief introduction and a short history of the farm, the gate gets opened and you get to walk in and meet your first alpaca. This is Midas, and he's kind of a big deal in the alpaca world. He's a five-time Judge's Choice winner in national competitions. Everyone is given a handful of treats, and then you see firsthand just how gentle these things can be. They really like the treats. Midas and I actually got to be best friends. He hung out with me a lot. Mainly because I kept feeding him. Come on. I love it. Next, King teaches everyone how to kiss a llama. courtesy to close your eyes or <laughs> pretty sweet and gentle and then Renette made it weird Renette's mortifying behavior didn't get us kicked out in fact they let us go see the babies I can't even describe how adorable it was to interact with these things in person. They may look cute on camera, but face to face, 
you're gonna fall in love. Adorable, right? And then guess what? You get to hold them. I love you and I just met you. <laughs> It's just ten dollars, and you get to you get uh, up close and personal, face to face encounters with alpacas. We met Midas, uh, who was super adorable and fluffy. King, the tour guide and the owner of the farm, but he said they're like dogs, and you don't really see it at first. You're like, yeah, they're not dogs, and then when you actually interact with them, they're so much like dogs they're, and cats. Yeah, they're amazing. I want one. We're gonna come back tonight, <laughs> after dark, and steal one. Can you imagine if the day after we posted th this video, <laughs> uh, an alpaca thief steals and then the FBI is after us? Nobody spit on us. Oh, is that what you were looking for? <laughs> no. And we had a really group, a great group of um, uh, families that were with us on the tour. Yeah, the tour like... was about 10 people. Um, including little kids, and there was some small, small children there, and they were great with the alpacas. The alpacas were super gentle, and no one on the tour guide did. Yeah. Um, I mean, and I tried. I was shoving my hands in their mouth and saying stuff about their mom. All right, we had to uh, get out of the parking lot and start heading home. Um, but it's just ten dollars. Donation. It's a ten dollar. Yeah, I don't. You know what, he could spend that money on crack and I would still, I would still go there and pay $10. It's just a, an added bonus that it's a donation. But for $10, you get to hold a baby alpaca. It's the cutest thing on the planet. Yeah. He's so fluffy. Um, so definitely, if you're in Central Florida, go to... Uh, Lunacy. Yeah, if you're... It has nothing to do with the moon or the sea. We did find out why it's called Luna Sea. Why Luna Sea? Because I'm a crazy man. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, definitely go there. Just 10 bucks. Um, take some friends, take some kids. Uh, don't take your dogs. He did say um, the dogs aren't good around alpacas because domestic dogs are dangerous to them. And he did mention that if they have coyotes around that the the llama can kill a coyote. But a coyote is real easy to kill. All you have to do is paint a hole on uh, the like the side of a mountain, and he'll think it's a tunnel. And then he runs through it, boom, dead. dead. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.